What's up guys? I just shot a wedding on the 50 yard line of the CSU Stadium. Check it out. I've been doing photography and real estate full time now for about three and a half months and already it has made the top five list of the best decisions I've ever made. I would have never met this guy if I was still working my nine to five job. I was putting up signs for one of the open houses that I was hosting and Ricky and Melissa were out on a walk they just decided to come by and say hi. We got to chatting. He told me that he was a coach for the CSU football team. I said, hey, I also have a photography business. I'd love to come take pictures of the team if you guys ever need it. And he said, no, we've actually got a whole team that does that for us, but we are getting married in two months and we need a photographer. Well, fancy that. I love building this business organically. I am not a sales guy. Door knocking, cold calling, not my style. Relationships are. So anyway, so anyway, hmm, here we go. So anyway, I got to go to the stadium with him. We walked out on the field, kind of got his vision on what they had in mind for their wedding day. Um, and then we kind of went back and forth on building a timeline on how to make that dream a reality. Then a few days later, I got the text that says, hey, we want to hire you and the rest is history. Now, if there are any photographers out there who would be more interested in like the business side on, hey, how do you go from meeting a client to uh, you know booking a wedding, drop a comment, let me know, I'd love to talk about that stuff. But this next part's really cool, check this out. I have my drone license, so of course I had to bring it to the wedding and get these shots. Now the bride and groom originally wanted it during the ceremony, but I highly, highly recommend against doing that. I actually won't even agree to do it unless I have written permission from both the bride and the groom that that's something that they want. Because this thing is super loud. The moment that you are vowing to love one another and be faithful to each other for the rest of your life should not be a moment that you have a loud buzzing sound over your heads. The last thing I want is for a bride and groom to be in the middle of their wedding and be looking up at the drone because it's so distracting. So I will stress time and time again, if a bride and groom asks me to fly the drone during the ceremony, I will set very clear expectations on how loud this thing is and how distracting it can be for both them and the guests. All right, so real quick, this is a brand new channel. It's so new that I still get notifications at every time I get a new subscriber. And I get so excited when those notifications come through. So you can literally make my day right now by hitting the subscribe button. Like I will literally be picking up my phone as soon as you hit subscribe, looking at it and going, yes! Growing this channel in 2021 is a big goal for me and I would be so grateful uh, if you could subscribe. And as a thank you for subscribing, here is a picture of a Siberian flying squirrel. All right, so that's it. Short video today, but I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you next time.